Let's let your lights shine. Epic Zero. Steve-O. Howdy. And our friendly Pig Productions. Well, she's at summer camp right now. So we're going to make a point in this vlog about Flame Jumper. Because why not? I don't know the history of this place. Um, but we're just here during happy hour. Kids can be here as long as we sit at a table. So you can get a $2 pretzel. And I'm going to show you how big this pretzel is. What's up? It's what? The restaurant's based on the gold rush era. Oh, the gold rush era. Well, I always thought it made sense that it was near Knott's Berry Farm because that really fit the motif of Knott's Berry Farm and Plain Jumper. So we're a chain that's all over the place. I know, it's all over. the wine, but did you want to order any appetizers for you? Oh, I guess we do. Sure. So here are, it's all day, every day. And this $2 pub pretzel, I am not joking, that thing's huge. It's really worth the, the, the $2. I mean, actually, I feel like I'm ripping them off. But it's only paying for $2 for a big old pretzel. It's really good. And it's really good. So enjoy our boring vlog, I'm telling you. It's just us going to dinner. <laughs> there is no rhyme or reason behind it. We can make up stuff. Why don't we make up stuff? long time ago, there was some miners looking for gold. And they got clean jumped. There you go. And that's how this was established. And it's here still today. No, I bet it's... One thing I always thought was cool about this place is... Their mother load they... cake? Oh, we got a... Did I ruin it for you? No. Oh. No, Isn't that what it's called? To, I was trying to think of what I was going to say, but it threw me off. <laughs> Oops. All of a sudden, my brain is dancing with They always have it in the head. front when you leave. Maybe I hope they do. It's like a seven-layer chocolate cake thing. Because they hit the mother load. That's crazy. Yeah. So, you don't remember? Um, no, I remember. They, they, they used to give you a, a little card. You put your name in. And they wouldn't call your name. They would call the name of... of a. Oh, whatever like the card. My, that... Mighty forty, mighty forty nine, or oh, do they don't do that anymore? I mean, must, may, may still do that. Oh, but they wouldn't. They, they wouldn't. Uh, they probably have that pager system now, so they don't need to do that anymore. But it was a cute little gimmick where they put the give you a card with a name, a name like, like a, a famous a historic name. name kind of thing, kind maybe. Of thing, yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, All right. That oh, that's cool. Hey, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Is it cool? You know that that's cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to stop saying that. I say it way too much in my vlogs. All right. So, anyway, once we get the food, I will show you. That's all. We're out. All right. We got our delicious wine, Pinot Grigio, and we also got our Caesar salads. Are they yum? Because I haven't tried mine yet. Two thumbs up to that. Well, I'll give you one. One in the other hands. Oh, there you go. Okay. I can't wait to bite into this yumminess. All right, factoids of the old claim jumper here, since here's a nice little picture of one. It says it was founded in 1977. Um, restauranteur Craig Nikoloff opened the first claim jumper in Los Alamitos, California on September 27, 1977. The original restaurant had a large menu and an atmosphere inspired by California's Gold Rush of 1849. They have pictures of more of the Gold Rush back here as well. This building doesn't really fit it as well as a as a as a claim jumper that's been built from the ground up. It's a little more rustic because this yeah. used to be a fish house. This oh, it was something a, else then. Oh, okay. A, yeah, we're, we're at the pelican. claim jumper in Brea, <laughs> California. By the way, in case you're wondering. Not that far from the Brea Mall. So, yeah, th that's why I said the one in Knott's Berry Farm seems like perfect because it's right across, you know, Knott's Berry Farm is all based on that kind of stuff too. And then you go to a restaurant that's like that. So, it's themed perfectly. But they did say they, in 2010, September, the chain filed for bankruptcy and then Laundries bought it. $76.6 million. Anywho, so the rest is history. Here they are now, and um, that's all I got for you. That's exciting. So now we're just waiting on our pub pretzels. 
All right, it's here. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Look at that big old pretzel. I'm not kidding. Look at that. Ba Two dollars. Ba, ba bam. Look at that. Two dollars for this thing. Steve got some sliders. Lauren got some cheese pizza. And of course, some more pretzels. They're only two dollars, so even if we don't finish them, we'll bring them home. I'm getting full. Like I ate almost my whole entire pretzel. I don't even know if you can see that. Really? I didn't want to show me eating because I don't really like you to see that. I don't want to see that myself, but are you full? Yeah. Are you full? I'm I wish I was, but I'm never full. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, Steve's so looking up we... something ancient. Can you please tell me what the heck you were just talking about? Talking about Grecian Formula 16. Okay, anybody out there know what the heck that means? Because I sure didn't. He said it <laughs> takes the gray out. Now mind you, I have gray hair. I would like some of that stuff. You said you rub it in your hair and it, it puts it back in its yeah. natural color? Yeah, there it is, right here. Well, let me see. seven bucks. Wow, I need some of that. He wants to do it on his facial hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Grandpa. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's just gonna turn it gonna like lighter. On the internet. I think you want to <laughs> Shit, man. Gotta... <laughs> you can't cuss on this thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's a good thing my kids aren't here. It's a good thing no one's watching it either. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, we're about to clear out of here and and get our Grecian Formula 16. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the Walmart's on the way home, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> right here. Oh, it's not the actual cake anymore. It used to be the actual cake. Now it's just like one of those fake desserts. But it used to be seven layers. Are those walnuts? Yeah, they're walnuts. It's called the mother load. Oh no, that one's called, ooh, that was just the baby mother load. Baby mode, this is the mother load. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, that's the slice you That's get. the slice you get. Oh my god. I get the glare off. I don't know if I can get that off. Yeah, it is. And here's the name of it. Alright, we are now leaving. Oops. It'd be nice if I opened it the right way. So yeah, here's the outside of... It is a spitz out here. So this is the out... You said this used to be the Rusty Pelican? Yep. Yeah, it's been a long time then. I don't remember that. Oh. All right. Well, there you go. And now it's claim jumper. And it's sunny too. Sunny and hot. So anyway, that's our awesome happy hour dinner at the old thing jumper in Berea, california so come on down it's every day and i'm passing my car up right now because i forgot where we parked <laughs> just saying enjoy thank you for watching and no you can't get this five minutes back so sorry but don't forget to like share and subscribe for more of these because you never know i might surprise you with another boring vlog bye